I'm gonna show you the eight mods that make my Bamboo app X1C even better. And the nice thing about these mods is that almost all of them are 3D printable. Also, while I'm showing these on my X1C, most of the mods also work on a P1S or a P1P. So let's get into it. When you get the printer, the first thing you really need is a poop collector. Honestly, I think this isn't even really a mod, it's just something that you need and so it's the first thing I would definitely go with. There are so many models for this on Maker World, so I would definitely look around and see what works best for your scenario. The first one that I went with was this one because it fits nicely behind the printer and you can easily see how much poop there is in there if you have to empty it and it's just generally easy to access. In the end, however, I ended up switching from this one to another one because this one's always visible and I think it doesn't look that great in my videos. This new version that I have right now is completely hidden behind the printer so you can't see it from the front and also it attaches either magnetically or you can hang it on this little screw on the back. Overall, I think it's no problem that you can't see it as much since this really holds a lot of filament and if you change it every week or two, depending on how much you print, it'll be perfectly fine. One thing that I wanted to mention, of course, if you like any of the models or mods you see, I'm gonna have all of them linked in the description down below. The second thing is an AMS disconnect tool. This might only be a little tiny change, but when you wanna disconnect that AMS, it's really annoying to actually get it off. This little tool you print once in a couple minutes and it really saves you whenever you want to take it off. And this can happen every now and then for me, whenever I want to move the printer, I usually do it separately for the weight or anything like that. And it's just become a really helpful thing that you can print with so little effort. There are two versions of this, one which you can just put over the existing cable, which I think is super nice because you don't have to remove anything to actually put it on. Or the second one that's fully enclosed and stays on there a little more securely, but honestly, either version is fine. The next item on the list is this Y splitter that allows you to have your external spool and your AMS connected pretty much at the same time. This is something that I found out about fairly late in my journey and honestly, I think it's one of the biggest things that I would definitely recommend to everybody. This is one of the mods where you need a little bit of extra hardware and can 3D print everything. You need these PTFE tube fittings that you can get fairly cheaply on Amazon or wherever. Also, you need to have some extra PTFE tubes laying around, but I think there are some extras that actually come with the printer, so you should be fine. Otherwise, you can also easily buy those. Once you have everything together, you really screw this in tightly, and I really love the detail that the maker of this model went into because it's so precise and well documented. Once you have everything assembled, you put two PDFE tubes on one side and one on the other. This one goes directly to the print head and then you have one that goes straight to the AMS and a second one that goes to your external spool. So now you don't have to switch PDFE tubes whenever you want to change from the external spool to the AMS. The AMS will always withdraw the filament after each use, so no problem there. And then you can just route through your external filament to the print head whenever you need that too. That you need to actually load and unload manually, but the whole process is so much easier and it's really great if you print with TPU or something like that regularly. One last thing to mention about this is you can make an extra wall mount for this so you can neatly cable management everything on the backside of this printer. Honestly, for now, I just hooked everything up and just let it hang around and didn't care about it. But if you're a neat freak, you can definitely improve this looks wise. And yeah, I think it's a great option to have. The next thing on the list is just a tiny one. It's these little Z-axis dust covers. Honestly, I'm not sure how much dust is actually gonna go in there, but these things are super easy to print and take barely any filament, so why not make sure just put it on there and be safe that over time no dust and grime is actually coming in there and making things worse. One weird thing that I came across while making this video is why do so many makers feel the need to put the Bamboo Lab logo on their mods? Like, why? You know, the printers are already branded. If you understand why you want that or need that, let me know in the comments down below because I was always asking and wondering why and trying to get the version without the logo or at least the one colored version without a colored logo. The next two improvements are both for the AMS. The AMS is definitely one of the things I love the most about this printer, so let's show it some love. So while the AMS already has some room for desiccant to get moisture out of the AMS himself, I think this is something that can definitely be improved upon. First of all, the desiccant slots in the AMS are made for little pouches, and I have no idea how to get new ones, and if I were to get new ones, these would probably be more expensive than just buying loose desiccant. 
And that is where this print comes in. You can easily slot these three in the front of the AMS and just fill them with loose desiccate, which is really nice. As you can see from all the stuff that I spilled, this did not go too well. <laughs> kind of scooping it out is definitely the way to go. Also, there's a spot for a humidity meter, which is nice to see it at first glance. Although, of course, the AMS also has this built in. The more I printed, the more I realized how important moisture control is. I had some of these five kilo rolls, which are amazing in terms of price per kilo on filament, but there's not really a way to keep them from humidity since they won't fit into any bags. And because of their huge weight, they'll take a long time to print. And while they were printing great in the beginning, at the end, I did have fairly bad results with them, which is sad because that filament is probably going to waste. With this mod, you're making ensure that the humidity in your AMS is always well controlled and your filament stays good and your print results are perfect. Also what I like about the desiccant is that you can just dry it like in the oven and then reuse it over and over again which is super nice. The desiccant changes color when it gets wet so you know when it's time to dry it out to get the best results. The next AMS mod is for these little feeders where you put the filament through. The first thing it improves is the handling. Since these are pretty small, I often have some problem getting to them correctly and using them, so they're just a little bit finicky. With this new mod, you just have more space to press, which makes everything easier. The second benefit is protecting the original part from wear and tear. Since you can put a little piece of PTFE tube in there, you're not having that and just making sure that you're protecting the original AMS. These can be printed super easily and just four at a time in like under an hour. So it's definitely a hack that makes sense to do since it's so little effort. This isn't really a mod, but I can really recommend the disconnect tools for the X1C or P1S. So whenever you wanna do something or service on the printer, these come in really handy. From being able to disconnect the AMS, which we already have something for, but for changing a hot end or nozzle, this is amazing and makes the whole process so much easier and way faster. So in this little package, you have two tools that help you disconnect all the plugs when changing the hot end. Honestly, just with your fingers, this is insanely hard and I was always really scared of breaking something off or something. With this, it goes a lot easier and faster. So I can definitely recommend this, especially if you're changing hot ends a lot. If like me, you're a freak and want everything in Gridfinity, I made this custom Gridfinity bin that's honestly kind of a waste of space and filament, but I wanted everything to be in order, so you can download that separately under my link. The last mod is pretty niche, but super important for me. It's what I use to make those beautiful time lapses while 3D printing to make these videos. So you can definitely use the built-in camera, but we all know that it doesn't look that great. With this little mod that I remix from an existing model, you can put a little switch in your printer that will trigger your DSLR whenever you're using the smooth time-lapse mode. This is honestly so nice and surprisingly, there's not really much to find for something like this. So I made this version that hopefully helps you. All of that is also in the description down below and I have a little more info on how to build it up and set it up. But I think this is really nice and if you're doing content creation or whatever, I hope this helps you a lot because I really struggled getting this to work in. So these are all the mods and accessories that I use all the time and that really helped me with my printing experience. There are also a lot more great things that I don't personally use or need, but I wanted to give them an honorable mention. This little PTFE radius tube makes sure that there's no bend in the PTFE tube towards the hot end so that the filament can always pass through perfectly. Personally, I didn't have any problems with this so far, but for some people it's a fix that they needed. Also, I like this extra filter that cleans all the air that's coming out of your housing. With all of the plastic melting in there, it's definitely not great to breathe in, so an extra filter might help clean this up a little bit. And if you're sitting in the room where you also have your printer, this might be a good idea. Honestly, I'm not sure how much scientifically proven this is gonna help you, but I don't think it's gonna hurt either, so that's definitely a fix that I'm gonna do soon. Another fan favorite is the upgraded nozzle wiper where people take the A1 nozzle wiper, which does seem nicer to me, and hack it into their X1C. Personally, I've not done this because the X1C nozzle wiper is working perfectly for me and I have plenty of replacement parts for that. So if I ever run out, maybe I'll switch over to this, but for now I'm fine, but it's definitely worth a look. One really interesting project is an AMS riser with an extra light strip inside that just illuminates everything in the housing a little bit better. For now, I'm just using video light since I have that anyways, but if you're in dire needs of summer light in your printer, you might look at that and find a solution that works for you. 
And lastly is this nice plate storage accessory. But since I only have two plates, the texture and the smooth plate, I usually just have the other one right under the printer. So, so it's even nicer and I don't need to print a separate thing. But if you have many plates or wanna keep them stacked there, then this is definitely a good idea. All in all, I can just really tell you that I'm a big fan of this printer. And if you have other mods that you think I missed, let me know down in the comments. You know, I think there's always great stuff that I could still do with this printer. And if you want to buy it or don't have it yet, check out the link in the description down below. If you like this video and want to watch another one, I can really recommend this video I made on the Gridfinity system. Honestly, it's the best story of this sim I've ever found and I'm a really big fan. As you saw, I print all sorts of stuff for it. So watch the video and maybe you'll get as excited about it as I was. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.